Dear students, from today we are starting another series of modules that will be telling you that how different softwares on the network communicate with each other. So they are following layered approach for internet softwares and we will cover this topic in three different modules. So today we, we are on the first module in which we will discuss the preliminaries that how such a sharing and such a connection is built and how different softwares communicate with each other. So networking software basically provide an infrastructure by using it different softwares communicate with each another to transfer messages and receive messages and this activity is executed in hierarchy of software units. So let's consider an example. For example, you are living in Lahore and you want to send a gift to your, to your friend who is living in Switzerland in Europe. So what would be the process? So similar process is adopted by two softwares which, which one of them is residing at a server in Lahore and that a particular software want to communicate with another software which is residing in a computer at Switzerland. So let's see how it happens. So here is a pictorial diagram to explain this scenario. For example, here you are. So what you do? You prepare package for shipping. Whatever the gift you have purchased, you package it properly and then you give it to the shipping company. Like you can choose in Pakistan, TCS, for example, DCS, some courier service, which will be handling your activities, your packet to be sent to your friend who is living here. So then that shipping company will give the packet to airline. So airline places container in the aeroplane and then there could be different air, airlines which, in which this packet will be swept uh, this packet will be transported. So these are basically the intermediate stops. So you know if the packet is being sent to Switzerland, it may go via route. For example, from Lahore, it may go to Karachi and then from Karachi, it may go to Dubai and from Dubai, it may go to some other destination in Europe and from there, it may go to Switzerland. So all of these are the intermediate steps which will be done by the airlines and then it arrives at the final airline stop which belongs to Switzerland and then that airline gives back this packet to the shipping company which would be the shipping company of that country and then that shipping company will give this packet to your friend. So basically if we see here we have three layers which are present in this diagram. So first layer is the users, you and your friend. So this is first layer. Then second layer is the shipping company, whether it's at your end or it's at the end of your friend. And the third layer is the airline. So these three layers were involved to send your packet from one location to another location. Similarly, in network communication, we have rather four layers. So first layer is known as application layer, then we have transport layer, then we have network layer, and the fourth one is the link layer, and they work similarly as we have discussed in the previous slide. So in the next module, we will be discussing all of these layers in a little bit more detail that how actually the software components communicate with each other over the network. So the summarize, to summarize today's topic, we have learned the layered approach to internet softwares part one today. And we have seen that how networking softwares work and we have discussed a scenario of gift shopping and then transporting it to your friend at a remote location. And then we have preliminary discussion about how are the, what are the four stages which are involved in network communication over the, uh, between software communication over the network.